Hello, I'm Jill Fraley. I want to welcome our special guest today, Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir and Congressman Hal Rogers. Here in Kentucky's Appalachian region, our small communities and families face challenging economic times, especially here in the coal fields where we've lost almost 6,000 jobs in the last two years. In response, Governor Bashir and Congressman Rogers have launched a plan to bring together leaders from across southern and eastern Kentucky to strategize a path forward for our future. They have named the initiative SOAR, Saving Our Appalachian Region. And everyone who loves Southern and Eastern Kentucky is invited to take part in a free summit coming up on December 9th at the East Kentucky Expo Center. Governor Bashir, tell us why you and the Congressman have chose to launch this initiative. Well, Jill, we all know the treasure that we have called Eastern and Southern Kentucky, our Appalachian Region, a beautiful place, uh, wonderful people but we're suffering some pretty tough economic situations Certainly. right now. As you mentioned, we've lost 6,000 jobs in 18 months, and it has made all of us have a razor focus on this region and what we need to do, not only to get it back on its feet, but to start di uh, the diversification of our economy so that over the long haul, uh, we're gonna have a good solid economy for our people. You know, the Congressman and I go way back. We've been friends for a long time and uh, political parties between us don't mean a lot. Uh, we trust each other, we work with each other in a lot of ways, and we felt like if we could bring a bipartisan effort uh, together and bring the leaders and folks, uh, civic leaders, educational leaders, everybody in the Appalachian area together to look at their own future and to buy into their own future and a vision for that future, then that's the way that we're gonna make a fundamental change in this area. Certainly so. Congressman, this initiative seems to take a grassroots approach similar to the PRIDE program and Operation Unite. But Unite, with the loss of so many coal jobs, we really need more good paying jobs in this region. So who needs to be a part of this summit? Well, the governor and I uh, want everyone to come, uh, regardless of station in life or occupation or geography or educational level or anything else. We want leaders there, we want uh, followers there, we want people of all walks of life to tell us what they think uh, ought to be done in eastern Kentucky. We both have this view that uh, the answer to our problems in the mountains has got to come from us, uh, the people. We the people. Uh, and if, uh, if people will come, uh, put their thinking cap on, uh, think outside the box, we want to talk about any and every aspect of what may lead to a, a rejuvenation of eastern Kentucky. Uh, and I've got to believe that, uh, and, and we've shown it with Unite and with Pride and other organizations, if you get the grassroots of people involved, working on their own future, collectively, uh, the eastern Kentucky future will be bright. Now, this, this is going to take time. This is going to be a long-term effort. Uh, it will outlive probably both you and I, Governor, uh, both politically and maybe even <laughs> lively. Uh, but it's going to take a long time. But we've got to start, and we've got to bring the best people uh, together and let them plan their future. And it very well may be that the most beautiful thing is not the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It may be the rainbow itself that okay. is the working together. Uh, which will produce a lot of things in and of itself. Certainly so. Now, Governor, what's going to happen at the summit? We are openly inviting anybody and everybody who is interested in the future of Appalachia to come to Pikeville on December the 9th and to spend a day with us uh, to help us develop an overall vision for where this region needs to go. Uh, but it's not only that, we want to hear everybody's ideas and help develop that vision. But in a sense, I kind of say, this is an altar call for the people of Eastern Kentucky and all of Appalachia. We need them to come and commit themselves to this process, commit themselves to their own future because Hal can do some things from the federal level, I can do some things from the state level, but long-term answers here, it's in the hands of those who live here. It's in the hands of those who work here and raise their kids here. They've got to take hold of their own future and we're going to help in every way we can, but the leadership for this long term is going to have to come from Appalachia. 
Congressman, do you think the SOAR summit has the potential to alter the future of our region? I certainly do. Uh, that's the whole idea that the governor and I entered this uh, 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 with. We think if we get the best people in the region involved in their own future uh, and have their plans uh, enacted into some plan, overall plan that we pursue, uh, that we can, we can uh, over the long pull, provide those jobs and better future for our people that, uh, that's eluding us right now with the layoffs that we're having in the coal industry. Uh, but one thing I think we've got to think about is the, the world in which we suddenly find ourselves, the internet world. And, and I think if we, I think, Governor, one thing we need to talk about uh, is how do we bring the internet world to this region? Because that's the way, that's the new interstate highways of the, of the present. And we've got to pursue, I think, that among other things. Governor, some critics say they've heard all this before. So what makes this initiative different than anything we've ever seen before? There have been a number of planning groups, uh, a number of plans that have been prepared about the future of Eastern Kentucky. And that's all been good work. And, and we're not putting that work down at all. But a lot of it has been developed and it ends up on shelves because there wasn't an urgency. People really didn't see the need Boy, if people don't see the need today, then they just don't have their eyes open. You don't lose 6,000 jobs in 18 months and not open up your eyes. Look, Hal and I are believers in the coal industry, and, and we both know that the coal industry is going to be with us for a long, long time, going to be a basic foundation of our economy in Kentucky for a long, long time. But it's probably never going to employ the number of people that it does now. And, and now people, I think, are finally realizing that and realizing that we've got to broaden our horizons. We've got to develop other types of businesses. We've got to develop entrepreneurship here in Appalachia. People starting small businesses. And, you know, as Hal mentioned, this is a long process. And there's no easy answer here. And I don't think there's any one answer. It may, in the end, be a number of small answers that collectively bring a big difference in the long term to Appalachia. But I think the main difference is, is that, that people, we're in a crisis. And this crisis isn't going to go away. This is not temporary. We've got to deal with it. And I think people understand that now. And that's why I think they're, they're going to come to that altar with, uh, when we give the altar call on December the 9th. And they're going to commit themselves to really long term making a difference for this region. This is truly a unique partnership, a bipartisan effort between the both of you. Congressman, what do you think the key is to sustaining this particular initiative beyond the summit in December? I think the governor and I have to stay with this through the duration uh, and, and pay close attention and be active participants uh, in, in trying to solve our problem and then applying governmental programs as they fit to whatever we come up with. Uh, the, the governor's right. We've been friends since I was Commonwealth's attorney and he was attorney general and we prosecuted cases together and the like. So we've known each other a long time. Uh, we agree on things 364 days of the year. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we may disagree on election day. There but, you go. But uh, he's a true partner in this. Uh, it's his idea. Uh, I'm thrilled to be a part of it. But I think uh, and to be able to sustain the effort over a period of time, we're going to have to stay with it, uh, and uh, he, the governor has assured me that he, he is and will, uh, and I will too. Uh, plus, we've got to have the commitment of the people that come to this summit. It's their future, uh, and we want them to be a part of their future and give us and the crowd their ideas about how we can move this thing forward. We've got to stay with it. The people have got to stay with it. The leaders of the communities have to stay with it. We've got to have a good staff that uh, does the day in and day out work of, of the SOAR organization. Uh, he, the governor and I have talked about different possible nodes along the way that will spur this thing along. Uh, we've got two or three in mind and working on. Uh, so uh, we think that, uh, that, w that the, the region has a great future. There's no more beautiful place in the world than East Kentucky. There's no more friendly people in the world than East Kentucky. There's no people in the world that are more uh, giving 
and forgiving uh, and involved in, in building a better place for their kids and grandkids. All of us from East Kentucky, me included, when we got out of high school, we had no choice uh, to go north to find a job in some cold and distant city. Mine was Cincinnati. But I found my way back. But we educate the best kids in the world with great educations, and then we ship them off to Ypsilanti, Michigan. And we've got to keep that talent at home. If we could keep one generation here, we'd solve all our problems. But anyway, the SOAR campaign, the SOAR Summit, December 9th, everyone is invited to come, share us your views, uh, give us your commitment to help build SOAR and the solution to our problems. And you'll find the governor and I are there with our ears wide open, uh, and we'll add a thought when we can, but it's really the people's chance to speak up about their region. Certainly so. Congressman, Governor, thank you all so much for your time today. Looking forward to December 9th. If you would like to attend the SOAR Summit in Pikeville on December 9th, you can sign up at kydlgweb.ky.gov. Registration is free and open to anyone who is interested in the future of Kentucky's Appalachian region. We hope to see each and every one of you there.